show you the ECU which you saw in the previous video. Uh, me modifying the ECU board to take the uh, ESL door board. And then uh, here I have my OBD ESL cable plugged in. This is the OBD2 style uh, plugged in. My ignition, oh, just hit the water spray pump. Uh, so my ignition's on. And just to show you, this is this. Out of the two ECUs I have, this is the one for modifying, and then I have the other standard one which is still connected to the car. And if I show you what happens when I try to hook up the ESL cable to the car with a standard ECU, it shows you my cable. So I press OK, and it will now try and connect to the car. You can see it says connecting, you can see it says MY9798 but it will not allow me to connect because it says in the bottom left corner ECU not supported so that's just showing you the standard ECU and these ECUs are pretty much the same apart from a couple of serial numbers you don't need to have the same serial numbers I just wanted to get an ECU with a very close serial number uh, just because uh, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch the ECU and then show you what happens with the software on the next connect. So this is my uh, original ECU. It's going to stay standard. It's the one that came with the car. And, uh, and <coughs> this one, so you can see here, these numbers are pretty much identical, apart from the stamped serial number, serial number in the bottom right corner. It's seven four zero seven and 7424 so it's about 17 zero numbers apart but yeah not that it matters I just wanted one that was pretty much the same so I'm going to take the standard one out and then we'll put this one in and uh, fire it up for the first time and see what the uh, software says okay there was one thing that I didn't show and it was the continuity testing um, when I did the continuity testing, there were every single connection went to a point on the board or around the main chip um, and back to the pins. So that was all good. But there were two pins that were shorted together. Now, don't get me wrong, um, these ones connected to the earth plate, um, obviously they, they are shorted together because they're just a common. Um, and when you contact between these two plates here it builds a charge and you get a little bit of a, a beep through I'll show you that so let's get my tester on and then now if I just show you I hadn't considered holding the camera to be honest um, let's see I'll set it up on a, on a stand okay so Let's lock this focus down on these pins. So you can see here, if I get my, you can hear my beep. So obviously these two are on the plate, they short. And then when I go between these two earth plates, which are connected by, I think a, a resistor or something underneath the board, but it creates a little beep So as it's flowing through the component under here. So of course these are all going to short together. But there's pins on this W110 strip, which is the longest one, and then the W120. There were two pins which were shorted, uh, pin 18 and 19 on this run, uh, which I hadn't checked before. Uh, and then after I put the um, door board in, I discovered these two were shorting and I was pretty certain that I'd made good contacts and no no shorting between the pins uh, so I did actually take the board back out and test it again and we're still getting the short so anyway I thought I'd get my standard ECU out and test it and of course luckily it is doing the same thing so between these two pins on a standard board without anything connected to it they're shorting the 70, 18 and 19 are shorting together and I was quite happy to find that so if you're doing a continuity test and you find that these two short together 
that's why and then these ones on the earth plate obviously and then these ones that cross over the component here do a little beep so that's going to happen the only other pin which couldn't work out was this pin uh, pin number what is this I think it's 18 no nope, can't be 18 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 yes yeah, so pin 18 here on this strip 120 this doesn't go anywhere uh, which confused me for a while and even when you flip the board over to try and see where it's connected I mean unless it's a multi-layered board and there's connections in between I just which I don't think it is I can't I can't think that this pin is used I guess it's just not and it's just part of a standard run of pins that you would have in a board um, the thing is on the ESL board they've used this pin as well even though it, it, it doesn't do anything so the only thing I can think is it's just for support um, but yeah so that's a pin that you won't be able to find a continuity um, point to check for uh, I just thought I'd point that out uh, so I'm happy now to power up the ECU I wanted to do this test before I actually powered up the ECU just to make sure uh, just because you know I like to cross the T's dot the I's and make sure everything's perfect or else well, you know no point being a cavalier about it anyway right so the uh, modified ECU is in now hooks up to the car and uh, we can plug in the cable and uh, well connect the battery back up and then hook up the cable turn the ignition on and see if the uh, software connects okay so our software is as it was before it says uh, ECU not supported and um, but it has its last result for ECU MY9798 Impreza um, the ECU as you saw is down there ready to go the modified one and then we've got our cable which you can't see there's not enough light uh, it's plugged in and then what I'm going to do now is turn the uh, ignition on and the immobilizer off okay so I heard the fuel pump that's good right so now let's try and connect to the car so it sees the cable Connecting, connecting, connected, there you go, bang, straight in, perfect. So as you can see now, this is current map, one of a 9798 ESL uh, board, brilliant. So I don't have the uh, motorsports package, so there's no anti-lag here, but you know, that's a future upgrade, but you have to send the ECU to them for that to be added. Um, but yeah, it's fantastic. So now we can see our fuel maps. Brilliant. Haven't started it yet, but uh, it's quite late where I am. And this is uh, enough progress for me for one night. When I've got a bit of daylight, I'll fire it up. Fantastic.